Hi everybody. Today we're going to fix the dirt bike tire on my daughter's bike. So I'm Chris and we don't have Link today. We've got Zoe. Say hi Zoe. Hi guys. All right. So this is Zoe's dirt bike, which is a 2012 Yamaha TTR 125 four stroke and it's got a flat tire. So uh, I've never done this before. We're going to figure it out. We're going to take the tire wheel off. And then we're going to pop the tire off and we're going to pull the old tube out, put the new tube in, and hopefully that solves our problem. So follow along and let's figure this out together. Okay, so first thing we're going to do is we're going to pull the axle off, which in this bike, it's a 17 millimeter uh head on the axle bolt and the nut so we'll take this off okay and now when we take it off guys we've got to make sure we keep in mind the order of everything so we know that the bolt came out of the uh, brake side on the handlebars uh so what do we got here we got a washer so there's a nut and a washer so, like in my previous video sometimes i like to just lay them out on the floor or wherever in the same order that they uh come off of uh, you just got to be careful when you're doing things like this one because you don't want it to get kicked across the shop floor or anything. So we'll just put a paper towel. We've got the nut, the washer, and some bikes will have a clamp, guys, that's on the bottom that'll clamp this bolt as well, but this one doesn't. So let's give you a little tap, taparoo. We'll pull this axle bolt out. Now, when you pull this out, guys, you have to be pay attention because there's going to be spacers and there could be seals and stuff in there. And so you want to make sure that when you pull those out that you're, you're watching so that you don't lose them and you keep the right order and orientation. So we'll pull this out. Oh, see this? The bike might tip too. Let's see here. Jeez. Oh, okay. I thought I had it balanced right, I guess. <laughs> All right. So now we've got the bolt out and there's no other washers or anything. But look here, you guys, these are the spacers and the seals that I was talking about. So we got to make sure that we don't lose those. So I'm going to put these also kind of in the right order here. It's very important that when you have the tire off like this, you do not squeeze the brake lever because you'll squeeze the caliper together and then you're really going to fight to put this back on. Look at that. She's flat. Okay, we're going to move up to the workbench and see if we can uh, figure out how to take the tube off. All right. So first thing we're going to do is we're going to take the cap off of the tube and we're going to remove the core. So the Schrader valve core, this is a, a special tool where you can remove the Schrader valve core. You can chase the threads on the outside, ream them out, chase them on the inside. It's pretty handy. I have no idea where it came from. And Oh, look at that. It's not going to work. Um, okay. Hang on. Okay, so now I have this valve stem cap, which has a Schrader valve removal tool on it. So here we go. Now we can remove this cork. We can... Ooh. Okay, hang on. I'll be right back. Okay, so now we can... Down here, Zoe. Now we can remove the Schrader valve out of the tube. And then all this is going to do is let the tube expand and contract as we're trying to take the tire off the rim without having to worry about um, any kind of air or anything getting in or out. Okay, so now we gotta break the tire loose off of the wheel. And if you guys listen, I don't know if you can hear that with our mics or not, but I'm just trying to get it off the wheel so that it's loose. And I don't think that we need to pull the, the whole tire off. I think we can just pull it off like the one side so now that we have the tire loose, let's see if I can get the spoons in. And uh, I don't know how this works. Um, okay, hang on. Okay, well, oh, this is a lot of work. It's hot out right now. And I don't know what I'm doing. I've been trying to fight with these tire spoons for a while. And me and Zoe have been working together. We got the tire to this point. I hope I didn't damage the tire too badly. Uh, there's no um, tire lock on this wheel, which I don't, I'm glad for. But anyways, we got it to this point, and it looks like I can just kind of gently pry 
all the way around. I'm not worried about damaging the old tire tube because it's obviously no good. And we're just kind of working at this tire around. There's a lot of like muck and everything in there. And I think that's from the previous owner. Um, I don't know if they knew that this tire was flat. I kind of suspect they did. And they tried to use some like tire goo or something in there, which I think is just going to make things worse for us. But anyway, so I'm going to keep trying to pry this all the way around. Ooh. Okay, it's getting stiff here. I don't know what's going on. Uh, hang on, we'll be right back. Okay, so you can see here, we got the tire off the one side of the rim. And here's where the valve stem is. So I'm going to push the tube back in. And then we're going to try and pull it out right here by the valve stem. Just like this. There we go. Yep. That thing is slimy and gooey and everything else. Uh, maybe they just had it in the mud. Could be it. Either way, this thing's no good. We could try to put some air in it to try and test and see. But I guarantee you guys that I put some holes in it with uh, the tire spoons. Because I'm not very good at this stuff. All right. Okay, guys. So we did put the Schrader valve in. and we started looking and look right here there's where it's leaking right around the valve stem on the tube that's no bueno so we're going to put the new tube in and we'll get her all fixed up okay guys so we took the tire completely off the wheel sorry we didn't film that but then we scrubbed the whole wheel in the shop sink here and now zoe's just scrubbing inside the tire because it's all full of mud like it is gross so we thought maybe it'd be better to get all the mud and everything out of there uh and then we'll just clean it all out and dry it oh yeah look at that we'll dry it all out and everything after we're done and hopefully there's no like dirt or anything left in there that can rub on the tube and possibly put another hole in it all right we'll finish cleaning this up and then we'll uh show you guys how we're going to put it back together Okay, so we've got the tire and the rim all cleaned up and we're going to put the two back together. But I think what I'm going to do is I'm going to put the tire halfway on the rim and then we'll try and get the tube inside the tire and then get the tire all the way on. I don't know. We're trying to figure this out. Anyway, um, in doing so, uh, I think we're going to need some soap, which I got. And I don't know. Oh, the tire doesn't look like it's directional, so that's good. I don't know how many dirt bike tires are directional, so it can go either way. It's just a front tire anyway. All right. All right, well, I, I wish I would have videoed that. It was kind of hard to get this on, but all we did was we used some soapy water and sprayed it on the edge of the tire. We just kind of pushed it around as far as we could, and then we used the tire spoons just to work it the rest of the way. But we couldn't really film because Zoe needed to hold the the tire spoon while well, I worked on the other two and she actually had to hold the rim. We needed four hands to get that on. But um, my buddy Justin said that it was going to be almost impossible to do it because it's a small wheel and tire. So uh, no problem there, Justin. Anyway. Um, yeah. So next we're going to try and get the tube in. Now that I said, yeah, Justin was wrong. I, I'm going to probably screw this up. So what we're going to do is I think we're going to try and, get the tube inside the wheel, but we have to line up the valve stem with this hole. So I think that's going to be the hard part. I think what I'm going to do is I'm going to try and get that lined up first, and then I'll put these like nuts on that retain it and hold it in place on the wheel. And then we'll try and get it in the tire the rest of the way. They sent us two tire tubes in the one package, and I think it's for amateurs like me, because I'm probably going to put a hole in it. I hope not, but we'll see. Okay, well... I don't know what I'm doing. We'll see if we can get this on here. Um, I don't know the order of these, but I Googled it and it said something about the Michelin tire support said 
to put this through the wheel like this and put the two nuts on and lock them together with a little bit of space between the wheel and the valve stem. So that's what we're going to try to do. Probably going to fight with this and then we'll have to stop the video because I won't get it because how do you get that in there? This is going to suck. I don't know. I don't know what I'm doing, people. Is that the right way to do it, Zoe? Mm. Do I put it in like that or do I put this this way? I have no idea what I'm doing. All right. Just cut, though. Okay, so sorry we're not showing you guys a lot of the techniques that we're doing because this is really hard. Um, anyway, what we did was Zoe and I lifted the rim up like or the tire off the rim like this, and we shoved the tube in and we kind of lined it up, and then we got the valve stem part way through, and I just got the nut on to hold it. Um, so I just soaked it down with my soapy water solution again, and we're going to try and use the tire spoons to ever so carefully get the tire back on the wheel without puncturing the tube. This is the part where I've always messed up before. Um, so we're going to try that. And I think we're just going to try to have, I don't know, like when we went to put it on before, we just kind of pushed it over the edge and it kind of went. So I'm not sure what the best method is here. We kind of get it started like this. Um, I don't know if it's not going because the tire is kind of seated on this side. Uh, but like, I don't want to, I don't know. <laughs> All right. So I think I'm going to try and put the tire on here. And maybe get the spoon on there. Like that, and then I don't know. Let's see, another spoon, and I just maybe kind of oop. See, and now I'm worried I'm going to pinch that tube. Maybe if I do that, I wonder if I should get Zoe to. Um, am I doing this backwards? Like I don't know. So, see, kind of, am I pinching the tube? No, I'm not pinching the tube. I think if I'm just careful, I might be able to get it. Though we hold this one with your hand. There you go, thanks. And then maybe if we just kind of work it all the way along. Okay, Zoe, hold this one. <laughs> Let go of that one. <laughs> Okay, <laughs> you got it? Yep. Okay, and then maybe, oh yeah, see we're kind of getting it on here. I'm just so worried about this that, uh, whoop, you okay, Zoe? Yep. All right, okay, Zoe, we're going to turn it off, uh, and we're going to try and work together on this, and then we'll come back and let the folks see how we did. All right, guys, so Zoe and I used a combination of tire spoons and stuff and soap water mm, classic dawn anyways it's good enough for ducks it's good enough for dirt bikes uh soap and soapy water and we sprayed it all on and then we just kind of worked it all the way around and the first half went pretty good but this last section was really hard so what you want to try to do is get the bead of this tire to slide down towards the center where these uh all these spoke nuts are and then that allows the tire to kind of move over this way uh, because it's a dirt bike, I wasn't too worried about scratching the rim and stuff. But if this was like a, a Harley or something like that, like there's no way I'd be doing it with manual tire spoons. But here's the moment of truth, okay? We're going to put the Schrader valve core back in. And you can see it's nice and straight, so we must have done something right. And then we're going to uh, put some air in it, and we'll see what happens when we get some air. So you stay there, Zoe. Grab the air hose. Hopefully I don't knock everything off my bench because it's a mess. Sorry about the mess. And here we go. Okay, what's going on now? I'm 
Okay. So it's not it's not seeding in the bead all the way around. I don't know why the air is not going in there. That's weird. I don't know uh, what's going on here. Let's see here. Hmm. Okay, let me grab a tire gauge. We'll see what we got for pressure. So, okay, well that's weird. We're at like 30 pounds and this is only supposed to be, I think like 15. And it's not seated right. I don't understand what's going on here. So tire on this side, the bead looks even except for down here where it's not. You can see the gap up here. There's no gap down here. And then this side, you can see where the bead has got a nice gap along here, but then up top here, it's not. All right. I think we're going to have to call my buddy, Justin, who's the expert at this and find out what we did wrong. We'll be right back. Okay guys, so what we did, because the tire wasn't centered on the rim, so you know how I was showing you the space here? We called my buddy Justin. He's a, a dirt bike legend here in the Edmonton, Alberta area. Um, we're not in Edmonton, but in this area, like he is a legend. Like the dude can ride single track like nobody's business. Anyway, so he gave us some advice to let the air out of the tube, squeeze the bead and pour soap in all the way around and then put some good pressure in there. So we got almost 40 pounds in it right now. But the soap, it definitely helped. And now the tire is seated properly. So we're going to put it back on the bike. And then we're going to wheel the bike outside. And we're going to wash this tire and wheel off because of all the soap and junk and everything on it. So if you guys remember what I was saying about these spacers and the seals. So we're going to put this one in this side. And this one in this side. Okay. And then... We're just going to lift it up and I'm going to make sure that I get the brake rotor inside the caliper here in between the pads. Like, okay, that's not working. We may have to spread those with a screwdriver. Yeah. <clears throat> Is it going? Zoe? I can't tell. I can't tell. Zoe, what are you doing? <laughs> okay, I think we got it in there. Sort of. Yep, there we go. Uh oh, this side's not in right. Okay, here we go. Here we go. Okay, whoo! We're in the right spot. Grab the axle through this fork. Ooh, we missed. <laughs> and there, okay. Tires on. I'm going to bring the bike level. Okay, guys, so now we just put our washer and our nut back on. And we will torque this to the proper spec and let the air out to the proper uh, pressure, which I believe on a dirt bike, it's only like 15 pounds. So there you go. That's uh, our somewhat attempt at uh, trying to change out the tube on Zoe's dirt bike tire. What do you think, Zoe? Is it going to work? Yes. All right. Well, we'll figure it out, I suppose. We'll see. Okay, guys. Thanks for watching. Hope that was entertaining. <laughs> Uh, I don't know if anybody learned anything, but I mean, at least we showed you uh, what to do, what not to do. Huh? And like and subscribe. Oh, yeah. Listen to Zoe. Try that again, Zoe. Like, like and subscribe. Yeah. And if you guys, uh, if there's any other kind of content you guys want to see, just let us know in the comments. We'd love to try and make some videos that somebody requested. That'd be a lot of fun for us. So, all right, guys, thanks for watching and uh, we'll see you in the next one. Oh, I almost forgot everybody. You got to double nut the valve stem so that it doesn't come off because otherwise it'll just come loose. So we're just going to put this other nut on here. And so there's a little bit of space, kind of like what it recommended from the Michelin manufacturer, I guess, from what that one website said. So we're just going to slide this down. And sorry, I know this is boring video, but this is important. So slide that down. Hopefully this 12, nope, that 12 is way too thick. Hang on, pause, pause. I can get another one here, I think. Nope, 
Thought I had another 12, but I don't. Okay. I guess we'll just try and see what we can do here. Oh, yeah, that one's tightening up. Okay, I'm turning the one, and the other one's not spinning. So there we go. That's double nutted. That won't come out. And oops, valve stem cap. All right, guys, that's it. We're done.